Welcome to Electron Line. Just like with RC circuits, we have a general approach, a general strategy to solve RL circuits. So what we need to do here is instead of finding the voltages at time equals zero and time equals infinity, with RL circuits we're going to find currents at time equals zero and at time equals infinity. And we're going to find the time constant, which in this case is L over R. Once you determine those values, the current when time equals zero, that's when the switch closes or the switch opens or the current goes to a different direction, and then when we reach steady state, when, I equal, when the time goes to infinity or a very long time has, a, has a elapsed, typically more than five time constants, then we find our steady state current and then we find our time constant. And then we go ahead and use the equation where the current as a function of time is equal to the steady state current plus the difference between the initial current and the steady state current times e to the minus t over tau. Again, tau is that time constant. So if we want to write in terms of the, the current as a function of time, we can say that current as a function of time is equal to the current when time reaches infinity plus the difference between the current when time is equal to zero and the current when time is equal to infinity times e to the minus t over tau. We have to remember that the current at t equals zero is actually equal to the current when time is less than zero, but that's only, of course, when we have a step response, when either the source is turned on at t equals zero, or the switch closes at t equals zero, or the switch opens at t equals zero, whatever it may be, if it's a step response, then we can say that the time at or the current at t equals zero is equal to what the current was before time reaches zero. And also, when the current at time equals zero is equal to zero, like it is in this particular case right here, then the equation we have over there reduces to the current is equal to V over R times one minus E to the minus T over tau. So that's something we need to keep in mind when we start solving these these equations, or when we start solving these circuits, I should say, which will start with the next video. And that's how it's done.